on the westbound 401. Uh, delays on the eastbound side, 427, two east of Islington, express collectors, and through Keel and the collectors. Watch out for a stalled vehicle east of Victoria Park in the express, where the right lane's blocked, but no delay. Southbound 404 DVP, heavy approaching Shepherd to south of Lawrence, and from Bayview Bloor down to about uh, the Richmond ramp, it's still a uh, heavy go here. Uh, northbound delays now from Lawrence up to York Mills. The Gardner is the part side to Jarvis. Westbound QEW has the bulk of the volume now from west of Fort Drive to Trafalgar. Mount Pleasant basically reopened north of Bloor, southbound all lanes. Northbound hearing the right lane is still blocked as you just make your way uh, past uh, Bloor, but uh, it's moving now. Uh, but the Bloor ramp to north Mount Pleasant is blocked. Stream the NHL and NBA playoffs and more with a Sportsnet Now four month pass. Only forty nine ninety nine available for a limited time only subscribe at snnow.ca with the forecast jill taylor poor air quality and reduced visibility in spots in southern ontario with this wildfire smoke our hazy sunshine gusty wind today out of the north northwest our guaranteed high 23 degrees tonight mainly clear and 12 for today the guaranteed high 23 Lots of sunshine right now in downtown Toronto and 20 degrees. City News Time, 11.33. And happening now in East York, a gas leak at Michael Guerin Hospital causing all sorts of problems from out the hospital to nearby schools. And it's where we find City's Kevin Meisner who joins us live now with what he is seeing. Yeah, Steve, this gas leak happened when a construction crew was working just out the emer outside the emergency department of Michael Guerin Hospital here right on Mortimer, just on the uh, east side of, uh, of uh, Coxwell here. And it is literally just a couple of steps from the entrance to the emergency department. A construction worker appeared to be uh, operating a piece of heavy equipment using an auger to bore a hole, drill a hole into the ground, into the uh, soil. And obviously that, uh, that auger, that metal bit, struck the uh, underground gas line and punctured it. I can actually see the gas escaping from the uh, ground and tossing up some sand along with it. At the same time, some of the sound that you're hearing is the uh, sound of a, a, a vacuum truck has been brought on the site. They're evacuating around the uh, the puncture so that they can get, get down and make some repairs. In the same At the same time, Toronto fire crews are on scene. They're actually, uh, they have, uh, let me just have a look. I see two firefighters in position uh, with their hoses and they're uh, spraying a steady stream of uh, vaporized water down onto the uh, gas as it escapes into the air. And I'm told that's to uh, keep the vapor down and try to try to dissipate uh, some of the gas leak. Of course, at times when the wind shifts, I can't smell that rotten egg smell, that uh, natural gas smell into the air. As well, I'm told Michael Guerin Hospital, there has been a partial evacuation of non-critical staff. Uh, what that means is just uh, some of the staff members a little away from the scene and uh, some of the construction workers who are working on the new wing of the hospital have been asked to clear from their workspace. I'm told that all patients and all staff are safe inside and patient care does continue. The ER obviously is closed to ambulances at this time. As well, right across the street, there's a uh, public school, RH McGregor Public School is still in uh, session, but I'm told a robocall did go out to parents advising them if they uh, desire, if they want, they can come by and pick up their kids just out of an abundance of caution and take them home for the day. I am seeing a lot of parents doing that at this time, but I am also told that uh, the uh, staff and the students inside the school are again safe and there's no threat to them as this uh, gas.